Minecraft is celebrating the release of the new Trails and Tales update 1.20. And while many players are lauding the update, I'm heavily meh. Honestly, I've been increasingly meh about Minecraft with every release because I feel the franchise is only expanding in the most superficial ways. Adding a new type of wood, a poorly conceived biome, and a new mob that is objectively the worst yet somehow manages to win the player vote. Minecraft has largely failed in expanding in any sort of depth and scope for a very long time. To see what Minecraft could have been and should be, one only needs to look at mods like Create. Create makes Minecraft fun again. Don't get me wrong, I love Minecraft. I've been playing it since the beginning. I even got my daughter into the game when she was only four years old, who now to this day still plays with me, which is why it saddens me so much to see it not live up to its potential. But this game isn't really a rant about vanilla Minecraft's failures or create mod successes. This video is about a still largely unknown game called Vintage Story. Because while most of the Minecraft world is joygasming over pink wood and sniffing turtles, I've been having a blast repeatedly starving to death. Vintage Story is simply described as an ultra hardcore Minecraft. While in Minecraft you can easily rush from wood to diamond in a matter of minutes, Vintage Story forces you to plan things out, take th Take things slowly and take the time to appreciate the little things. You can't just craft bread out of three wheat. In Vintage Story, you need to search high and low to find some wild grain seeds, plant them, take care of the garden, and pray that rabbits don't destroy your crops, harvest grains, grind it, and actually bake the bread in the oven. And nothing comes easily in Vintage Story, and that is the appeal. Sure, there are there are, it has some systems that sadly drift into the tedious <coughs> pottery. <coughs> Generally speaking, though, I appreciate the slow, methodical nature of Vintage Story, and it has become an amazing vacation from the mediocrity that Minecraft has become.